Lopez gets set to match up between the Sacramento Condors and the Philadelphia Eagles. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. his way across the 30 to the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. To throw on second down. Larson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. And touchdown. Evan Ingram, his first touchdown on the year. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. Point after up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and ten. They'll look to throw. Steps away, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves him with third and still nine to go. picked it nearly a turnover there on their opening drive and that's a throw he'd like to have back now fourth down well that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one take the big shot right out of the gate at worst you'll open up the defense a little bit loosen them up have them back on their heels a nice job on the return there 16 yards now this offense ready to head back out there and they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Looking to throw on second down. Larson. And his throw here is incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Larson. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. How about this offense? Already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. 
Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Now they'll run it on the toss. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. To throw on second down. Larson throwing the out route incomplete. It's Fuller. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Back to throw. Larson. Open man there is Patterson complete. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here we go. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the And it's caught. Touchdown. Will Fuller, his fourth touchdown on the year. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know, in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, they're able to get it to them. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now, a penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. It's Gurley. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. Call it a loss of six on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. side here and that one incomplete had some position but couldn't hold on and it brings up fourth down I know he wants to get his team back in the game but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance and that can put your team in some Dutch yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, 
It's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. That was a nice grab. Just couldn't get the feet down, right? You need that toe tap sequence there. Whatever size shoe he's wearing, probably need about a half size smaller to complete that one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Ah! From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. And out now come the Eagles. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw now on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Fisher. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. He missed on his first three passes. Was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic. But there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Feeling with his first catch, and it's a first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll drop the throw. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. There he goes inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. 17 yards on the pickup there. And the drive will continue. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got a bike cut. Oh. Oh, he just stuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Back-to-back -back gains of 17, and they are really on the march now. It's a first down. On first and goal, Gurley. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. A good pickup there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows. Make and he's in for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Gold now out to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 
So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. One thing rookies need to learn at this level and quick, make a cut, be decisive, and go. Because in college, you could dance around and wait for a hole to open because you're probably a better athlete than most of the guys on the field, but not on the NFL level. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Sacramento Looking to throw on second down. Larson. And oh, it coughed it up. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Right, ball go. goes over the sideline, team. able to retain possession. No turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming. Just blitz coming and down he goes. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. He's going to launch this thing way right downfield, and he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense, when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. 12 yards on the return that time. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. And here now the offense heading back out there. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front, you know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Larson, and that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, the great coach has said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. 
to throw on third down. Larson. And Ingram holds it in. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. On first down, Larson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. You change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Larson, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And that will extend their lead even further. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Watch him now, Barney! Barney! They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Looking to throw. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Being chased out left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable right, second and short. Lucky 56. Hurry up, here we go. 319. 319. Now a handoff for Gurley. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Here we go now. Blue 90. Blue 90. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. They'll look to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The result of first down is a quick slant gets him 14. On first down, it's Gurley. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. It's interesting going into this game. There was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. Like we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there.
The Eagles on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. Detroit! Detroit! They'll try and pick up the first for Gurley. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Todd Gurley unable to get it past the line. And as a result, possession switches hands. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first and ten, Larson. It's complete to Fuller. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there, a 22. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Give him 30 yards there. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Throwing on first down. Larson flushed out right. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Can't get away, and he's taken down. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. He'll drop to throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, Larson. Flush to his right. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. Wait a second. They did not accept that after the incompletion. Well, I'm, I'm, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. <laughs> I got nothing for you here. You have to take there that penalty, don't you? It's free yards. Back to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So a good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! 
Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never Let's want go. to make something Green, more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Again, they run with Gurley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. It looks way too easy right now. Two carries, two straight first down runs. The eyes are carrying the legs to the proper hole, but they're being created by an offensive line that has the leverage game going for him right now. Lower than the defensive front, creating space, and he's finding it in a big way. Got to love what they're doing on offense right now. That one goes for 24 yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Mack. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. On third down, it's Matt. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Now Gurley, and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. You got him. You got him. <laughs> you got him. Tight end right. Tight end right. Detroit! Detroit! Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And a quick throw here that's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That catch good for five. It's third down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%. Four for nine. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now a carry for Mack. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 
They'll set up a throw. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, you need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A good job there defensively to stop him for a gain of just four, and that'll bring up fourth and goal. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Hurry up, here we go. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Eagles get a score closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Field it about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Try to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On first and 10, Larson forced out to his left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. 23 yards on the tuck and run. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. 11 more on that one and another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive Detroit, line, Detroit. flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. To throw on second down. Larson escaping the pressure right. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch, but now third and goal. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it's evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. left and that is going to be incomplete they're turned away on fourth and goal 
And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Back to throw now on second and ten. And that's incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Got to be careful here. Backed up this deep on third down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup, And he's going to lose yardage back to his own one-yard line. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. Well, this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time no, 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 and then no, no, no. running get, get to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Got some real estate inside the 30. Wide open receiver complete. And they rattle off a big one. 42 yards. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. And he's going to go down. This will count as a sack, a very short sack, taken down at the two. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They come out here in the eye. They give it to him running left. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Now back to throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw is incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock the Alvin away and bring up second down. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Give him 30 yards there. 
this possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yeah. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Marcus May with a pick. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, God, that God, one's going to hurt God, and in a big God. way. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. Detroit! Detroit! They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Trying to lay one up deep. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Well, they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here. Now, in the second half, he's thinking, I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver go up and make a big play for me? Can I create a penalty downfield? Maybe pick up an interference call and get that yardage downfield? Anything trying to get going again. But you're right. He definitely took a shot. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They're going to look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. They'll set up to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he sacked. Levante David in there with pressure yet again. And that's the seventh time they've dropped him here this afternoon. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They'll look to throw here. Escapes the sack. And that is incomplete. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. They converted once earlier in this drive, but they'll roll the dice here again on fourth down. Gun. They'll look to throw. 
Going to throw deep for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. Evan Ingram with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Extra point forthcoming. Oh, and it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. His throw incomplete. They've got this big lead. They said, forget one. We want two. Instead, they got zero. Unbelievable. They didn't even attempt it from the 15-yard line. What are they thinking? I do know this. When you fake one in this situation with that type of a lead, especially from the 15-yard line, oh, boy. I, I tell you what, meeting them again somewhere down the line, they'll remember, they'll remember this. It. Yeah, they'll think that they were trying to clown them a little bit. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 uh, yards to go. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here is complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is what and he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flushed out right. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Lewis. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So the first interception of his career under center, and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to. And I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment, but there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there, my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Hurry up, here we go. Green 39, green 39. Ah! He'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Hurry up, here we go. Blue lining. Blue lining. Ah! On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. All right, here we go. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they're going to sack him yet again. The pass rush has been relentless. This time, it yields a safety. So a failure there to get rid of the football. I don't know in the end that it's going to matter much here with this game, but it yields another two points. Yeah, I think I'm with you. It may not matter a ton with the deficit is already there, but like my old coach used to say, it sure ain't going to help. It <laughs> doesn't help indeed. And now back out comes the offense. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging them, giving them a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. 
That one looks like he'll throw here. Flush to his right. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Eagles have recovered. He tried to buy some time to the right. So, Charles, when a guy gets out of the pocket, what's the focus of the quarterback? Most of them keep their eyes downfield. They want to try and make a play throwing the ball. Now, some of them, they want to tuck it and go. But when they scramble, in this case, as you said, to the right, you're cutting the field. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 14. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here. And a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Good, 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 good. They'll look to throw here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very solid gain of 27. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Hey, 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 hey. Ah! They'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's four. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A really good pickup of 28 yards. This quarterback now, he's hit on just 5 of 15 throws, a poor percentage, but it's first and 10. Hurry up, here we go. Blue line it. Blue line it. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Evan Ingram, a 14-yard touchdown. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for him. Partner, that type of a lead, and they're going to fake it from the 15 to try and pick up a two-point play instead of kicking it through the post. Come on, man. Put that in mothballs. Come on. Come on. Don't do that. Put that in mothballs. Yeah, huh? preserve that for it. That's, a, uh, that's an ancient just... relic, faking it. You, you, I couldn't understand. You, you want to rub it in a little. You fake it when you snapped it from the three. But from the 15, mothball that bad boy, just like my grandmother had. Yeah, in my, her attic, the my stuff grandmother she used to did preserve. the same. It smelled yeah, terrible. Same <laughs> the Eagles offense back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just... One last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, <laughs> Blitz coming, and down he goes. Now, defensively here, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. He'll drop to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. 
And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Back to throw, eluding the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Jamal Adams. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking and took the ball. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 40-yard line. 